This video is going to be about taking this uh, 25 shot slice, which basically, or it's, it's a cake, but it shoots five comets all at once. So it goes through each row, instant shot, instant shot, instant shot, and so forth. Basically all this is, is one of Dominator's PFX 5FR slices, but they put five of them in a pack and call it 25 shot cake. I needed individual PFX 5FR slices for my show this year, but there were none to be found anywhere near me. But my wholesaler did have these cakes uh, by the case, so that's cool. There's four of these cakes in a case, four times five, that's 20 slices right there, which is good. Actually, I needed 25, so I bought a, a single slice or a single cake as well. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to disassemble this cake. We're gonna take a look at it, see how to break it down into its individual five shot slices. Ultimately, what we're gonna end up with is something that looks like this. So this is gonna be the final product minus the uh, e-match going into it. Let's take a look and see what we need to do. Take a look inside and we can see that there are basically dividers in there, foam dividers, all the way down. We've got our fuse there. I always like to be very deliberate when taking apart cakes. Never know what pieces I might want to reuse or leave. So we can see here, starts here. See it zippers over to this side, goes back down, and then basically just works its way back and forth. So, Really, this is just wired up like a traditional zipper cake, except with quick fuse between each row. So it looks like the way I did this finish with the last one was kept these dividers on one side and the cardboard on the other. All right, so if we start from the back here, this looks like that's gonna match up. So what I'm going to do is basically I'm just going to take my blade and I'm going to slice along in there and basically just break the foam away from the other backing sheet of paper there. bottom one down here it might be a little bit trickier to get the first one let's see oh that one broke off you can see there's our fuse that goes across all of them
We'll just use our glue gun. We'll get back to that later. We'll set this off to the side. I'm gonna go ahead and take out our fuse because all these are gonna be E-matched. Okay, now we're back to our second one. So what I'm gonna do is basically cut all the way down the bottom there and then cut along the top. Okay, we can see that's loose. Now we'll do the top one. side. Continue to work our way through. Start with the bottom. Doesn't really matter. Start with the bottom or the top. I keep turning it just because I'm trying to do it best for the camera, not actually what is easiest for me. So if it looks like I'm struggling a bit. Because I'm doing it for you, the viewer. Number two or three, whatever. We want to be sure I'm going to leave that covered. That's our, uh, obviously that's our fast fuse that goes between the five to make it an instant five shot slice. Looks like with our last one here, we'll get a little, the last one will have cardboard on both sides. All right, so now we've effectively got five individual slices. So this was the one that was already done. So there's our five. Now we got a couple more things that we can do if you wanted to. For the most part, if you've gotten this far and you know what to do with stuff, then you've seen everything you need to see. But for the people new to pyro and getting a little bit more in depth with what you want to do, I'll show you some other things that I've done. All right, so a couple of my favorite things that I like to use when I am reassembling or if you've seen any of my other videos. Of course, I've got my little X-Acto blade, my glue gun, my hot glue gun, which is off screen here, and my HVAC aluminum tape. What I want to do is I want to take and cover this exposed fuse. And since the uh, foam piece is already off of it, that's going to make it a little bit easier to do that. Now we can see on this one, this is where it's already ported, where the fuse came through before and none on this side. So this actually would have been the last one in the rack. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take my aluminum tape and I'm gonna cover that up. Measure it out, looks good. Doesn't have to be exact, just enough to cover it up. Okay. Stuff loves to curl back on itself. So I'm gonna be ready for it to jump when it comes off the roll. All right, now I'm just gonna... There's that. Now, as you can see what I did on my other one, just gave some little slices down the side and wrapped it over. And this is actually, you won't be able to see it here, but it's gonna wrap over the other side of the exposed fused as well. So that works out pretty handy. I can feel the fuse on the other side there. All 
right now with that done i'm going to go ahead and put this back on there now it's broken a little bit but you know you can see here that it was only covering these four tubes it didn't even make it over to that last one so i'm just going to put it back where the factory had it and that's where our hot glue gun comes into play so we're just going to dip a little on there Because that one's broken. We're just gonna put a little glue in there as well. Hold that down. That's where that one went. That'll dry, dries pretty quick. I say this in all the videos where I use hot glue. It's hot enough to melt it, but not hot enough to trigger any black powder or anything like that. Not quite hot enough to burn you, although you'll know if you get a, a fresh squeeze on you. And it dries really fast. So it's the nice thing about hot glue is it cures pretty darn quick. All right, so that's gonna be pretty much it for this one. We'll set this one off to the side. Take a look at one of our next ones. Same thing here. I'm going to take the aluminum tape and run it down that. I'll try to do it this way for your viewing pleasure. There we go. Another five shot slice, effectively a PFX 5FR. Uh, I don't remember what they use for the uh, silver comets or whatever this particular cake is. I just clean it up and I'm on my bottom plate. Look at this. I found this. Just, and it must have gone on this one. That didn't even show signs of glue being on there, which looks appropriate. So I'm going to go ahead and for the sake of being thorough, I'm gonna glue that one on there too. All right, so what else? Well, maybe you're thinking, eh, you know, this is pretty sturdy, but maybe I want to give it just a little bit more reinforcement. What can I do? Well, that's entirely up to your imagination, what you wanna do, how much you wanna reinforce it. What I do, again, I've mentioned this in my other videos, you get a handful of these paint sticks from your local big box store. Usually they'll just give them to you if you ask nicely. And we're just gonna put it on there with a hot glue gun. That'll dry. And uh, you could run a piece of tape around it if you wanted to do that too. You can get as secure as you want to. The amount of safety that you put into your show and into your product is entirely up to you well, or within the guidelines established by any governing bodies. Last thing I think I want to mention for this video is some of you might already have been thinking, why did you even tear it all apart if you're going to be e-firing it? Well, in this particular case, I'm going to have them at different stations or different positions on the field. They're not all going to fire from the same spot. But if there was one of these cakes or if I knew that I had five that I was going to fire all from the same position, even if they're at different points in the show, I could certainly just leave it in the cake format that it was. So we'll pretend this was our original cake. And then all I'd have to do really is go into the sides, pull all the fuses out from each side that caused it to zipper, and then just put my E-match right in here and leave the integrity of the cake and all the bracing from the factory as is. So that's certainly another easy way to do it. If you know that you're gonna fire these, you know, at different times, but it's all gonna be E-fired, but all from the same position, then yeah, poke your E-match into the sides and maintain the integrity of the uh, cake as it came from the factory. Hope you all found this video helpful. As always, feel free to leave a comment, 
It doesn't cost you anything to hit that subscribe button. If you like the video, cool, let me know. And uh, until next time, be safe, have fun, but mostly be safe.